Uh, usually I do my talks about wave energy, but today I decided to do my TED talk about uh, female entrepreneurship. Uh, because I really feel that it's a subject that is close to my heart and uh, very similar to wave energy. You know, wave energy has always been there in the world, but nobody built wave energy power stations, so it was kind of ignored. Female entrepreneurship is the same. Uh, we unfortunately have very little women in business, so that's why I decided to do my talk about this today. So three years ago, I actually did uh, my first uh, TEDx talk, and uh, prior to my talk, there was a girl on stage that was playing the harp. So the harp remained on stage throughout all the talks. Two weeks later, I finally received the photos from the TEDx talk. I was so excited to publish it on my Facebook, expecting people to say, wow, that's so amazing, you're such an amazing entrepreneur, you made a TED talk. But when I actually published the photos, everybody said, oh my God, we can't believe that you're playing the harp. Everybody was sure that a young woman staying on stage next to a musical instrument and the word TED is probably playing the instrument. But uh, that was only the tip of the iceberg. Since then, I did uh, some additional TED Talks and some additional speeches. And every time I come down from the stage, come off the stage after my speech about wave energy, everybody approach me and say, how it's like being a female entrepreneur? So I thought to myself, maybe being a female entrepreneur is a subject even less understood than wave energy. So uh, I decided to do my talk about this subject today by giving five tips from my personal experience. So my first tip is that we must stop being apologetic. For some reason, we as women tend to apologize, not only for our failures, but even for our success. I was in an event for female empowerment and there were three strong women sitting on stage. The host asked them, do you feel that there is a glass ceiling? Everybody said no, although none of them was the CEO of our company. Then the host asked them, what do you attribute your success to? One woman said that she's successful because she came from a very wealthy family. The second woman said that she's successful because her father is a professor. And the third one said that she's very successful because she took an advanced science class in high school. All the ladies attribute their success to external factors, not to themselves. I looked at the woman, women around me in the crowd and all of us, we were shocked and terrified. So if we're not coming from a rich family, if my father is not a professor and if I didn't take this advanced science class in high school, what chances do I have to succeed? And then I looked at male entrepreneurs, such as Steve Jobs. He had no money, he was adopted, he started Apple in a garage, and still he was able to make it successful because he's that awesome, because he's smart, because he has internal characteristics uh, which assist his success. I looked at people like Jack Ma that established Alibaba. He was rejected from 30 workplaces, including KFC. He was rejected 10 times from Harvard, and still he could make it because of his internal uh, characteristic, because of his factors. All of, all of the male entrepreneurs attribute their success to themselves, and we need to do the same thing. My second tip is that we must stop being ashamed to speak about money. For some reason, when a woman needs to raise $1 million, she asks for $100,000. She feels that she has to prove herself before asking the money that she actually needs. A man entrepreneur, when he needs $1 million, he's asking for $5 million, because he knows that in the startup world, you don't always develop your product on time or in the budget that you plan. So if we women want to be able to get more than 2% of the worldwide wide venture capital funds, and at the moment we're getting 2%, we need to start being comfortable to speak about money. My third advice is that we don't have to be perfect. When I started EcoWave Power, I was 24 years old. I had no money, no contacts. I was most of the time the only female in the room. And when I came to pitch my idea, the men in the room would say, espresso, please. Everybody's sure that I'm in the room as somebody's assistant. But still, I went ahead and I made my dream come true of building wave energy power stations. But a lot of the women, they're being terrified by external factors. There's a famous study by Hewlett Packard that is showing that a woman would apply for a job only when she meets 100% of the criteria. A man would apply only when he meets 60%. 
So we need to learn that we can't be perfect and nobody expects us to be perfect, definitely not in business and in entrepreneurship. There's a saying that I like that says that you can always edit a bad paragraph, but you cannot edit a blank page. And experience is very important. My fourth advice is actually uh, less directly to the female entrepreneurs, but more to the society around us. Uh, female entrepreneurs, in order to be successful, we need support. Support is the oxygen that makes entrepreneurs flourish and makes our fire burn. And unfortunately, all the studies are showing that female entrepreneurs and successful women do not get the support that they need to get. There's a famous study by Harvard University that's called Heidi versus Howard. Heidi is a very successful venture capitalist. She's very outgoing and confident, and she makes the best deals. A professor in Harvard presented Heidi to his class and said, what do they think about her? All the class said that she's highly qualified, but nobody wanted to work for her. She was kind of annoying, she was too bossy. Then the professor went to another half of the class and presented them Howard. Howard was exactly Heidi, but in a man. He was outgoing and confident, and he knew how to raise funds. But everybody wanted to work for Howard. Howard was amazing, he was awesome, he was a great businessman. It actually proved that there's a negative correlation between female success and the ability of people to like her. So in order to be successful, first of all, like all human creatures, we need to be liked. The second thing is, even if you don't like us, at least invite us. Uh, this is a recent picture from Israel. Angela Merkel, the counselor of Germany, came for a visit, and she asked the government of Israel to meet the Israeli startup community, because Israel is very famous as the startup nation. They arranged an amazing event for her in Tel Aviv Museum, and they invited only men. She was the only woman in the room. So she looked at our prime minister and she said, well, I guess Israel is not advanced enough to have female entrepreneurs. And Israel, the government of Israel felt really embarrassed that a picture like this leaked out. But I'm actually happy it did, because it shows of a real problem. Women, in order to be successful, we need to be liked, and we need to be accepted, and we need to at least be invited. My last tip is take any tips that you can take from male entrepreneurs and from female entrepreneurs, but in the end of the day, just be yourself, follow your dreams, follow your instincts, follow your passion, because you know the best for yourself. And I see that many of you ladies are looking at me and listening to my tips and saying, well, it's nice tips, but it's much easier said than done. It unfortunately doesn't always happen in real life. And a lot of us ladies had our spirit broken by people tell us, telling us that we can't, that we won't, that we will not be able to do something, that we're too weak. But I really believe that the strongest thing that we have in us is our voices. So usually I finish my TED Talks with a quote of somebody really smart. This time I want to finish it with a, a moment of female empowerment. So I would like to ask all the ladies to stand up. And sorry for the men, but... <laughs> You reluctantly stood up, I saw that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, and now I would like everybody to repeat after me. I am smart. I am strong. If I fall, I get up. I can do anything. And now if one of you ladies will choose to pursue her dreams and her passion because of anything that I said here today, then my work here is done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.